Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today because I'm off. It's always a good day when you are not working. And I used to not say that. <laughs> what I used to do is cry when I was off work. Have you ever met anybody who cries when they weren't at work? Well, I used to be like that. When we went virtual, I thought I was going to die. Anyway, I need that human interaction. But now I am loving my days off. We evolve, don't we? But anyway, so as you can see by the title, I want planner peace and I'm looking for the ultimate to-do list. So I love my planner. I have no um, issues with it, but I don't want my daily in here because I may not use a daily every day. But I do need a to-do list for the way that my brain works. So this is my June. This is our... Um, june at a glance and don't forget if you do have this planner or don't have this planner this is an august to july planner because that is when we usually start school but i i wanted to deep dive into it so i started it with june in the index so that's how you get to the june of 2024 because this june is june of 2025 okay and so i created this planner i've been working on this planner for years we can go back probably two years or so when i made my first planner i have done a 360 degrees since I made my first planner and um I'm so excited for the progress all right and so this is my glance and I've been using it checking things off you know updating it you know once a week or so trying to keep up with my walk and y'all can see inconsistent but we getting there I am I was gonna walk yesterday I don't know what happened but we're gonna walk today Thursday Friday so we're gonna try to finish out this week strong all right <clears throat> and so this is my first week of June this is my second week in June. And then I did this by myself. You all were not with me. So this is um, our, no, this was last week's June. I did do this one. Sorry. This is the one that I did by myself. So we did this last week and I was just trying to keep up with the videos that I posted and making sure I'm posting five to six times a week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that up, but that's where we're at right now. And so I'm really trying to make sure that I'm, um, making videos every day because one i enjoy it i love talking to you all and second you know i want to be consistent on youtube it's been a goal of mine for many years i started my channel in 2014 and i never took it serious never all right and so that's where we're at with the planner but i don't know this is where you like pick out your top three this is where you say hey i'm doing this today but there are a whole lot of a whole lot of i don't like that there are a lot of things in my mind that I need to get on paper. I need to just, so I can look at it. I just want to see it. And I don't want that in here. So one thing that I did was I started looking at everything that I bought. Guys, I have showed you my stickers, but I have not showed you um, my planner history. <laughs> so when you click on 2024, these are planners that I may use in 2024 for one reason or the other, but they're not my main planners. Okay. So I got notebooks, summer school books, my planner pal. I got my Lux book planner that I use. I got my paper and rose planner, these landscape, mm, these landscape book um, inserts. I got my sticker pile, my new planners that I, these are just the ones I created. So I have them in a folder, um, individual stickers. Okay. And then where I download new stickers, I put them in here until I decide where they're going to go. All right. This is how I'm housing my good notes. I'm looking for planner piece. So that's why we're doing this. Okay. And so then, um, when you go into 2024, um, I think some of these, um, these are things I wasn't using or like copies of stuff, but these should be in the other section. So let's make that happen. So let's go select here, here, here. They should be in the actual 2024 planner. So let's go to documents. No, current 2024 planners. I want to move them there because I'm still using those at one point. Or, all right and so when you those these are things that i bought during 2024 that i may or may not use but they're not like my current lease okay and so then when you hit 2023 these were my current lease and then i housed everything i wasn't using in 2023 that maybe i bought here do y'all see how the pattern goes and then this is 2022 these were the ones that i was trying to use these were the things that i had bought that maybe didn't work okay and so then we get into new and old planners because now we're getting really old uh, we're going back to 2021, which is what I want to show you. And so there was this 2021 daily checklist, okay? I really did use this. I think I favored a few of these just so you could see 
um, how I use this checklist. So this is an option because it's a daily page. It's not attached. It doesn't have anything else. And it really mimics my paper and rows, my non-negotiables, my top three. I don't know why they did both of those. I don't know. That was kind of like crazy to me. And then you get to write down everything. And I want to write it down every day. Like I need to like brainstorm. What did I get done? What did I need to bring over? And I love this little planner. As you can see, this was consistency for me. I needed to write down everything. I needed to brain dump and I need to do that every day. And that is what I'm missing. And so I was trying to decide between, y'all see it? Just quick look. I was, I was in this planner every day. I loved this little planner it is by um k digital studios i think and so you just click the months nothing in here when you go to january i didn't buy this in january that's why it's blank and so then you have all your days you got time blocking i usually cover this up um what you're grateful for and then what i need it for is this right here so i think this is in the running for planner piece to go along with my planner. See, my planner needs to be cute. It needs to have the stickers. This is down and dirty, okay? All right, and so this is in the run, the 2021 daily checklist, okay? And then the up, uh, I used to love this planner. This ain't got nothing to do with this video. I love this little planner, right? <laughs> this planner, the only thing I did not like, I was new to digital planner, right? This is when I, David surprised me with teacher of the year and we was in COVID. And so all of my admin came. This is all off topic, but isn't it? And they showed up. But um, I didn't like this ring right here. This was just a planner that I was using for memories. And I think I just was going through trying to make space feel with the months um, that I didn't use. Because when you get a planner, you don't start using it. But I really did. I don't think it's in this planner. Because I, I had multiple copies of this planner. But you kind of bring in or just journal. This is back in the day, guys. And we're so off topic, but we having fun, right? We're just going down memory lane and digital planning world that I've been doing this a long time. I think the first product I bought was in like 2018. Didn't know it, what I was doing. So you can bring in your own um, templates. You know, that's when I first fell in love, like create your own. But the one thing that got me with this, I still want to date it daily, okay? Even though it's blank. So I want you to put the pages in for the daily, which... I don't know if it's here or I want you to put your pages in for the daily and then I can click to the blank page. All right. And, but I'm not downloading that one. We're not using that because I don't like that ring and I'm really past it because I can make my own. Um, and then the other one that's in the running is this ultimate to do list. And I think I got that in 2022 or three here. So this one I never used, but I do like it. It is a same concept, but you don't have the time block. And all you do is journal your to-do list for personal work every day. So these two, I'm going to put into the forefront and we're going to see which one wins. <laughs> which one am I going to be using consistently? So I kind of already set this up for 2024. I'm just not using it. I don't know what's the difference in the two of these where I got two copies. So we're going to move this to the front right and we're going to see if this helps with my planner piece because i need to do this every day so we want to move to documents okay and this is going to be my 2020 24 to-do list and then we're going to go to etsy so i can show you where i got these things from and i'm going to bring in i don't know if i want it there or inside my 2024 no i want to do this every day so this needs to be a part of my daily routine so we're going we, we're trying to get this together all right, so that's going to be part of my daily routine. And then we're going to go to Etsy where I bought these things. And I sat here and I went through, I want to show you real quick. This is like my jot down planner. The reason why I didn't want to use this planner because I don't like these rings right here. But it's just like, I just use this sporadically to write stuff down. If I'm trying to plot my um, stuff out at work or plot anything out, I just want to write. This is my go-to planner. Okay, and I'm going to show you what these things are. So I wrote down the pages I want to show you so we can click on and take a look at these books in case you want to buy them. So we're going to go to page 20. So we're in my Etsy shop. We're going to go to my purchases and we're going to go. I wish it was a way, but we got to go to 31 and then go backwards. And we're going to hit page 21 first in case you're interested in any of these for your planner journey. 
I sound all off today, guys. I'm just happy. I'm just ecstatic. I'm just having fun. This is nothing um, too serious. All right, guys. So here's where we found the Digital Planner Daily by K Digital Studios. So this is the planner in case you want. So it looks like she don't have it anymore. I'm just sitting here. I know that I saw it. But when you click on her page, I can't find this Digital Planner Daily pad. Perfect planning system. Fully linked pages. I can't find it. I don't know if she made something else or not, but we don't have time for that because I figured I could go straight to it. So, sorry about that, guy. This is her shop. I was trying to see if she had anything that was the same, but, you know, she changed her style of plan and she went to the, um, what did she call this thing? Canterbury? Cyberberry. She has a Cyberberry planner system now, so maybe she got rid of her old planners that she had but i really like that one this is uh, a procreate ring binder stamps i don't know what that is i don't need that i was looking to see if she had anything that was the same and those are comments so sorry about that you can't get that one and then i also favorite page 18 i don't know why let's look and see so let's go back to purchases and let's see if we can get to page 18 i hate the way let's just i shouldn't say hate but i do I don't like the way that Etsy have makes you look for stuff. Like it's gotta be, nobody remembers the name of the whole descriptor. And when I went to try to do the descriptor in that little search box, it pulled up a, um, a, a number keypad. And so nobody doing all that. Nobody, that's too much to type. I don't even know. Can we just, I'm just trying to learn today. Can we copy and paste this title in here? I don't know. We don't have time for that, but those are the things I don't like. And there's another thing I don't like. I need Apple. You know how when you have your AirPods, it connects to your phone, your iPad, your computer seamlessly. Okay, Apple, I need you to connect this Apple Pencil to all my tablets seamlessly. I should not have to connect in order for this Apple Pencil to work. I'll be sitting over here trying to write some and realize it ain't connected. I mean, that's just too much. I need it to be seam. They need to go back and forth. They need to go back and forth. Then you would only need one Apple Pencil. Now I got three Apple Pencils because each one got to have its own. Sick obsession. I know it sounds like I'm all over the place, but this is me searching for a planner piece. So I'm here today because I want to be able to have everything I need at my fingertips. I want to be productive. I want to be consistent. In order to do that, I need the things in my life to help me do that. And one thing my brain is missing that I feel like I'm not accomplished is I need to write down and get everything out um, at one time. And I'm sitting here looking to see what I wanted to show you on page 18. I want to say it was that memory book. Okay, so remember yesterday's video, I was telling you that I was updating my planner power. Well, this is the memory book I was talking about. So this is under Breezy Organization. She still has it. And you see how I clicked the memory book and it took you straight there. So I'm thinking that K Digital Studios deleted that, um, what you call it, that thing off of her page, that to-do list. But this is a memory book that I bought. It's $17. I don't know what I paid. But it's still really cute. If you like the memory keep, she got a lot of templates. I want to use it more. I'm going to start doing this once a month. Um, I'm going to make a list of planning. Uh, it's not ideas, but the things I want to get accomplished in planning every day. And so I'm going to use this memory book as part of my planner pile. The things I just want to, you know, focus on. I want to use this in my planner pile for the things that I want to um, remember for that month. Just a little extensive, especially Aaron. I would love to just make the whole book about Aaron. And my school. I love my kids. And I always forget my kids. Maybe I need to do a memory book for school and write the kids' names down. Because, girl, 20 years be gone and I don't know those kids' names. I'll be sitting in the old folks' home and they'll be coming by. Miss Ken, do you remember me? No, honey, I don't remember you. What's your name? What year did I teach you? Yeah, I plan on going to the nursing home. I don't really plan on having anybody take care of me. Anyway, that's another whole rabbit hole. I got this idea with me with a big hat on and a wheelchair and I'm scooting through the nursing home bothering everybody. <laughs> ah, my cousin said I'm crazy, but I don't care. I don't really know how life is going to work when you old and I really don't see my children taking care of me. And what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever had a planner babe just sitting there having fun? Well, that's what we're doing today. We having fun. All right, so that's it. I showed you the planner page. I showed you both of those um, ideas that I have for planning. 
and I think I want a fresh copy. I don't want to delete the one that I have. So I do need a fresh copy of that um, download. So digital planner, I, yeah, this is it. So we're going to download this one again so I can have a fresh copy. We're going to open it in GoodNotes. It's kind of cute. All right, so that, I'm going to change the name of these. Um, this is going to be my daily playbook. So we're going to call this my daily playbook. My life is like a playbook, and I need to be making sure I'm on point. All right, and then this is my to-do playbook. It's not a list. It's a playbook. So to-do. How do you spell to-do? Do you put it together or do you separate it? I want to put it together, but everywhere, every time I do that, um, the app always tells me to separate it, but she wrote it together. So daily to-do playbook. Um, my daily playbook and then Kent's playbook. Okay, so we're going to see if this gives me planner peace. You know, when I just need to write everything down, this is where I want to do it. It is um, dated across the top for each month. It is no monthlies in here. When you hit January and you go to that first, that's all you get. All right, and then the other one is the same way. There's no monthlies. This is just your daily. And I didn't want my dailies inside of my regular planner. I just don't. Because one, if I don't do every page, I'm going to feel some kind of way. So this is like my go-to and it's okay to have pages that I'm not um, using. But it's not okay in my kids' playbook to have a blank page. It's just, it's not okay. And so therefore, because I have these issues... I'm hoping this will bring me planner peace. Are you happy with your planner? Have you decided what you're going to be using um, in this next quarter? Remember, at the end of June, uh, we end our second quarter and we go into our third quarter. I have read the 12-week year, and I advise you to read the 12-week year to help you stay focused on um, your goals. Because when you have a 12-week year, it keeps you motivated. Okay, I got to get this done by June. I got to get this done by June because it ends my quarter. And I'm proud to say, let's just take a quick look. All right, and so what did I do? Quarter three, because I didn't have quarter two in here, and I just put it behind here. So I posted June. I've already hit, I think, seven videos. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know if I want to put weeks on here anymore because I'm – making videos and i want to post three videos a week i've surpassed that okay so if we go into my youtube studio which is where i house my where they house my data all right and we go to our content for the month i hate this planner because it doesn't tell me but i think i can tell you where june started june started here this was a chit chat two weeks ago I want to say that was my first June. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 videos, guys, already in the month of June. We rolling. We rolling. Now, I'm not a daily planner as I want to be. I would love to come on here every day. So this is 2, 3, 6. We don't have to do that. That's 12 cubs. Three times four is 12. I've already passed that. We can go ahead and check them off. And so I'm now on the extras, okay? I've already finished all of my Bible verse. I'm, I got to finish Hebrew through, um, I don't know if I'm going to do all that. I've already read my two books for the month, but I'm, I'm working on reading all of these, okay? I'm almost finished with Born of a Crime. I might be able to finish that by Friday. And... These were my top 10 goals, which it wasn't specific for June, okay? So I just kind of listed out my top 10 goals that I want to accomplish in my life, so to speak. So they're not necessarily um, for June. These were my June goals, right? It's to post on YouTube. And I didn't have any professional goals as far as teaching is concerned, but I do need to go back and do that as um well so i'm i'm already accomplishing goals i don't even know how to mark this off anymore because i've already made 16 videos but i need to make them in that week so i'm just gonna say what week are we in i need to see a calendar so if we're looking at june week one two three four five this is really not a week so one two three four so week one two and we're on week three if i'm making three videos a week that and then this week i've made at least two videos i don't know if i'm, I'm on my third video 
So if I'm making three videos a week, the extras is just what it is. I've already done an extra one. I just got to keep up the momentum. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I love playing around in my planner. I love like looking at old planners. I love looking at some of the spreads that I had back when I first started versus where I'm at now. Um, if you'd like to do the same thing, please drop a comment down. Like, how long have you been planning? Um, are you at Planner Peace? Or are you still looking for Planner Peace? And if you are, what are you missing? All right. And let's get there. I'll see y'all in the next one. <music>